I'm Sandra Pike from Royal Page Atlantic and the Pike Group. Welcome to my newest listing down here in the south end of Halifax. We are at 5960 Campbell Drive and as you saw we are on a fantastic cul-de-sac. Are you ready to see a house that's full of potential? Because if you are, this house is just for you. So come on and let's go. Wasn't that cul-de-sac just great? Can you imagine your children out here playing hockey, playing soccer, or whatever it is that they do? This is a great quiet street for them. So before I continue around this house and show you, the house was built in 1974 and we're just shy of 3,000 square feet. When you come in through the door, we have one of three options that we can do. We can go to the left, that's going to take me into the living room. We can go straight ahead, which will take us into the kitchen, or we can turn to the right. And again, I'll show you all of those rooms as we continue on the tour. When we come in, we are now going to go to the left. We are faced with a beautiful wooden staircase. Can you believe that's from the 70s? I love this, the, the design, the open concept. You know, it really gives a great feeling when you get upstairs and you'll see uh, how open it is. So I can't wait to show you this. This living room, you can see your family sitting in here. Look at all the great space. We have some great lighting, uh, natural lighting that's coming in. So this is going to be perfect for entertaining uh, for you and your family. Now, as we continue down, we have some great characteristics of this house, especially the doors. Love the old chandelier. Look at this door before I open it. Isn't this great? Really great wooden doors. The thing with this here, as we open it up, this is going to get you to the side yard. Now, as the spring, uh, we continue into the spring and the summer, this is going to give you some great privacy. Again, great place for the kitties to be playing. Now we're going to continue into the kitchen. So we'll just come over here. This is going to be a room that has some great potential. Uh, it's very big. You can see some nice, beautiful granite countertops that we can have here. The children can be playing out in the backyard. And again, you can see all the shrubbery that we do have, so you are going to have a lot of privacy uh, once the summer does come. Again, lots of space. Now this room over here, uh, they have it as a, you know, they have their washer and dryer here. Uh, but again, there's room, other places for this to go that I'll show you later. Uh, but if you want, you can probably move some walls and expand this to be your full kitchen. Now as well, we have another great wooden door, which will take you out to the side yard. Lots of great space, don't you think? But lots of great potential. Now, as we continue down this way, out of the kitchen, we can either A, go upstairs, and again, this is the living room area again, but I'm going to take you down this hallway here. As we continue down the hallway, we have a two-piece bathroom right here. This room here is going to be full of potential. So I don't know if you noticed when we were outside, but the pavement came right up to the house. Now, this was never a garage, but it is wide enough to be one, and I'm sure you can look into permits to see if it can actually be converted into a garage. For those of you who are interested in this house and you want to know about the electrical, I have a bonus for you. It has been upgraded to breaker. So I just want to show you, we have a 200 amp service. Now, this room here as well, if you did convert into a garage, you still are able to have access to the backyard. Again, I just want to show you the door. I mean, these are great to keep, such, a, such character. And again, your access to the backyard. Now, if it can't be converted into a garage, well, you know what? This is a great place for the children to hang out because we are on slab, we don't have a basement, so this could be the kid hangout. Let's go. Remember when I was in the living room and I talked about this great open concept? Again, when we're coming up, you can see that you don't feel closed in, so I just love that. There is so much potential for when we come upstairs, and we'll discuss that uh, throughout the video. When I come up, I can either go left to two bedrooms, I have a bedroom here, and then down the hallway, we're going to see the master bedroom. But the first thing we're going to do is actually go to the right. When we come in here, you're going to see this bedroom. Uh, it looks to the side of the house and what a great place for your children. There is lots of space in here and the best of it, we have a walk-in closet. Now to continue. So again, we come up to the steps. We can go right down to the uh, bedroom over here or we can go over here to the left where we're going to find two more bedrooms. 
So in here, we have another great size bedroom that backs two windows, one that backs on to the uh, backyard. Again, you're going to have a lot of privacy uh, once the uh, summer continues. We continue on over here and we have another great walk-in closet. The space is just fantastic for these rooms. We're gonna come on out here. Now we have this room in here uh, and I just wanna show you, but we're gonna come back over here because this room has probably the most potential uh, out of all the rooms that we have. As we continue down the hallway, we have another great room. So this one faces the uh, outside, uh, the main street. And then we have some great closet space. We're gonna continue on out down the hallway. We have our main bath that's just right here. Now we have a very unique, and so this is where I'm gonna talk about the house if you're thinking, oh my goodness, what could I do? I need more space or whatever. Uh, let's just talk about the design of this room. So this is our master bedroom. We have ample lighting. We have right over here, we have this room, a uh, window story that looks to the main street. And we have this one here that looks to the uh, side yard. Now we see these three doors. So let's talk about those. So these can be, if you, if you like, again, we're just talking about ideas and potentials for this great home. So we have two walk-in closets, right, that you're going to see. So you can combine these two to make them a one, you know, one big gigantic closet. Now this is where, again, we're going to start talking about stuff. So this room right here uh, was meant to be the ensuite. Now my clients never used it as that. Uh, you know, he had uh, photography, uh, a photography room set up in here. Now can you just come over to the window? Now you see that window right there. So that was the red pinkish room that we were just in. So we're going to talk about that now. So I know that we just have the one bathroom that's upstairs. What you could do, okay. So if you could just, can you see a little bit outside down the hallway? These are my thoughts. Again, the so much potential here. You can take this room right here, so this bathroom and, and this room right here with plumbing, you could make that into a big ensuite, right? So this could be, you know, part of the master because you can go down the hallway and you can put a door here, which would lead right into the master suite. So again, the bathroom is right here. If I continue down the hallway, right, so this room, so remember, so we're just going to look out the window here again, that's the, uh, the ba uh, sorry, the, uh, the ensuite that I was just in. And right behind me here, this is where, um, you know, back through here, that's where the bathroom is. So if you wanted to, right, you can make this room the main bathroom for upstairs. And this is quite big as well. If you needed to, you can even move the washer and dryer upstairs to give you that extra space downstairs. So as you can see, coming into this house, there is so much potential. Your bedrooms are a fantastic size. There's, there's four bedrooms, or right now there's five. But again, if you took that room and you made it into a washroom, you made this in here to, the, uh, to a full ensuite for the master, the potential is just unlimited what you can do here in this great house. Again, you're just moving walls because it's structurally sound. Isn't this a great place for you to invest in and to have the dream home that you've always wanted? That's a wrap for today. I really hoped you enjoyed this house as much as I did showing it to you and explaining the potential that's just waiting for you on the inside. Now I know I didn't get into every room and discuss to you about sizing etc. But all you need to do is visit our website thepikegroup.ca and you'll find everything you need to know not about the house but about the community as well. I'm Sandra Pike from Roller Page Atlantic and the Pike Group and guess what? We sell stuff. Thanks so much for tuning in. Enjoy your day.